Okay, so before we got disconnected, we were talking about reinsurance. And uh, reinsurance is something that, uh, you know, an insurance company, you know, tries to seek additional insurance policy from another insurance company. So basically, we said that it is a kind of a deal where the insurer or the insurance company shares a part of the risk portfolio that it is carrying with another insurance company. This way, it tries to, you know, spread the risk to avoid, um, you know, a, a gigantic or an enormous or, you know, unmanageable, you know, financial strain on itself. So reinsurance companies are basically uh, are companies where they support the other insurance companies in managing their financial stress. Okay, so this is reinsurance. So again, we were talking about, you uh, before we got disconnected, about Union Central Life Insurance Company, where they said that it involves a principle of um, indemnity. Then we were talking about Beth K. Wass's Cosmopolitan life insurance company where the court observed that insurance is a reinsurance is a contract where one insurer makes with another to protect the first insurer from risk already assumed so who is the insurer here the insurance company so basically you could say that in simple terms it is insurance for insurance companies it is basically a contract between a reinsurer and an insurer are you understanding my point here what is reinsurance reinsurance is basically a contract between two insurance companies where one person is uh, acting as a reinsurer and the other the it tries to cover the loss or the risks of the insurer that is another insurance company so basically it is the insurance for insurance companies so that's how we call it as reinsurance and the court in this particular case beth k was is cosmopolitan life insurance company said that the uh, the reinsurance is a contract which one insurer makes with another to protect the first insurer from the risk already assumed so a company getting the risk reinsured is called the seeding company. And the amount of risk retained by the seeding company is called retention. The amount or the value reinsured is called session. And the reinsuring company may further want to reinsure the risk that it has contracted to reinsure. And it is called as retrocession. So a short note might come for the exams on the reinsurance. Reinsurance, which is insurance for insurance company companies. It's normally a contract between a reinsurer and insurer. And in one of the cases, um, there is Union Central Life Insurance Company versus Low. The court held that it involves a principle of, if, of indemnity. Then you could say that in Beth K. Wass's Cosmopolitan Life Insurance Company, the court observed that reinsurance is a contract where one insurer, that is in brackets insurance company, makes with another insurance company who would act as a reinsurer to protect the first insurer from risk already assumed. The company getting the risk insured is called the seeding company. The amount of risk retained by the seeding company is called retention. The amount of value reinsured is called session. And the reinsuring company may further want to reinsure the risks that it has contracted to reinsure, and that is called as retrocession. Any questions so far? Okay, I presume you understood. So the general principle here is the contract is between the direct insurer and the reinsurer. So basically, it is a contract between two insurance companies. It's a kind of, you know, a mode or a way of transferring some of the financial risk of these insurance companies to another insurance company. So the general principle here is there's a contract between a direct insurer and the reinsurer, both are insurance companies, and it is a direct insurer who will be made liable to the direct insured and not the reinsurer. So there is no contract really that exists between the insured and the reinsurer, but the contract here is between the reinsurer and the reinsurer that is a seeding company. So thereby, the benefit of reinsurance that comes to the fore is that the risk is spread and the risk is transferred. 
So broadly, reinsurance can be dichotomized as treaty reinsurance and facultative reinsurance. So basically, there are two types of reinsurance, treaty reinsurance and facultative reinsurance. So this dichotomy helps us to understand the method that is used to cover the risk, whether you know proportional or non-proportional. Now, treaty reinsurance is a pre-arranged agreement whereby the direct insurer cedes and the reinsurers accept sessions within predetermined limit insurance. Now, it is mandatory to accept risks under this method. Thereby, there is an agreement that is drawn between two or more insurance companies whereby one agrees to cede its risks, that is direct insurer, and the other company or companies that is reinsurers they agree to accept reinsurance as per conditions specified in the treaty or in the agreement. So there are different types of treaty insurance uh, and the most common forms are quota share. You also call it as QS or proportional and there's something called a surplus excess of loss. Now, what is QS or quota share? This here basically a proportion is seeded that is where the reinsurers take a specific share or a proportion of a risk or obligation to pay claims in each policy and it's directly proportional to the premium of reinsurance. So original risk here is sought to be shared. So that's why we call it as quota share or QS or proportional. Next is surplus excess of loss. Now here direct insurer reinsures only the surplus amount after its retention. And the reinsurers are inclined to accept such sessions. Next, there's something called as XOL, that is excess of loss ratio, or also called as stop loss. Now here, there is a relationship or the nexus between gross premium and gross claim over a year is examined, and based on which gross loss is determined, and the seeding company decides a ratio of gross loss up to which it can sustain. Next is combination strategy of QS and XOL. That is a combination of QS and XOL. Next is pools. Pools are basically treaties between companies where members join hands to share premiums as well as claims. And this form is normally used to cover risks or insurance policy of hazardous businesses. Next is non-proportional. Here, the reinsurers are not proportionally liable for the loss. Likewise, premiums also are not proportionally shared with the reinsurers, which means the losses covered may be in excess of the value of insurance cover. So the loss is reinsured in the non-proportional method. So next is facultative, uh, uh, facultative reinsurance, which is normally used in simple business covers. It is not a complex uh, reinsurance form where risks risks are optionally reinsured, handled on a case to case basis, where the sedent passes a single or a block risk on a one off basis, and it is different or uh, it is distinct from treaty insurance to the extent that there is a separate reinsurance policy that is contracted for each risk. So this method is undoubtedly or indubitably flexible and tailored to meet the needs of reinsurance. And you can classify this into two or dichotomize it into pro rata and excess of loss. So this is it with reinsurance, also called as the insurance for insurance companies. So do you have any questions? Okay. So 